Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 13th, 2018. So hey, everyone, uh, welcome again live from Las Vegas at the Las Vegas Money Show. And yesterday we had just a really nasty sell-off pushing us back down toward this support level and here in the Dow. And as you can see, that's exactly what I kind of pointed out yesterday, that a pullback down into this level was certainly possible. Did I know it was going to uh, sell off as strongly as it did? No. But hopefully everyone was expecting that possibility to occur and were somewhat prepared for that. Now, I always believe that um, there's a possibility of a silver lining, particularly when we see such a good pattern being formed here. If you take a look right here, we have an inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be forming on the Dow. Now, does that necessarily mean that we rip higher from here? Uh, no, it certainly does not. And it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to just immediately correct all the technical damage that has been done in the charts here uh, by the sell-off. But it does give us some hope that there may be some good times coming. And I still believe that overall the market is, uh, the excuse me, the economy is strong. And if the economy is strong, people are working, and um, we're moving into the holidays, then I think there is an opportunity that we could see that Santa Claus rally. Could I be wrong and we could continue to sell off? Absolutely. And could this, you know, inverted head and shoulders pattern turn into nothing more than a lower high in the market that takes us to a new low? Yes, that is true. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we stay very, very focused on price action here. Try not to trade our bias, but to watch what the price action is telling us. Now, this morning we're getting a strong bounce up in the market, kind of fueled on Home Depot earnings last night. But the market is trying to, to bounce up here um, really strongly this morning. So be careful. We don't want to chase into this uh, potential rally, but this might be just exactly what we want to see is catching some of those support levels. So, you know, plan your trade carefully, move, uh, move slowly. We don't have to rush into the market. There's no need to chase and watch for those potential entries if they may come along. Hey, I want to remind everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click on those thumbs up buttons. Drop a comment. That truly always helps me. And if you do me a favor today, maybe drop in there. Are you are you seeing a silver lining or do you, do you think that the clouds are going to uh, overwhelm the market and we're going to move lower. Just drop something like that into the comment. Be happy to see what you might be thinking about the market. Also stick around. I have a couple of trade ideas that you may want to add to your watch list when we finish up. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quickly. The SPY also has that inverted head and shoulders pattern. And, and once again, here we were right at this resistance level. So this pullback should not have been that big of a surprise unless you're just trading with um, complete a complete bias and only seeing one side of the market. And I think this is a just about a perfectly formed inverted head and shoulders pattern. We just need a little bit of rest in here, a couple little days of consolidation or a little bit of bouncing around where the bulls step in and kind of defend this area. And then we could have a great opportunity um, to retest some of the resistance levels above. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues, not nearly as good a pattern here. The cues, took it really hard yesterday, took it right on the chin, but we did hold above this level of support right in here. And if that can hold, if we can see buyers stepping up in here, there still is an opportunity for the cues to hold a higher low. And let's keep in mind that it's very, very typical once we break a downtrend that the market moves up and pulls back to test a down, that downtrend for support and we could be finding that price support right in here with this nice bounce this morning. So think about that as you uh, plan your uh, day and week ahead. Let's take a look at IWM. Now the Russell, 
obviously they've got a lot of work yet to recover on this massive selling that, that's happened here in the Russell. But here again, a beautifully potential um, head and shoulders pattern formed on IWM. So we'll want to watch that closely. And with this bounce up this morning, um, we may get that opportunity to see this carry on higher. Just imagine a break of this um, shoulder line here. We could really have a nice move in IWM. So watch that close and you know just keep an eye um, on the market now don't trade your bias here don't don't just think because uh, you know Doug thinks the market's gonna rally from here that it will we want to watch we want to wait we want to be patient and wait for our trade remember always wait for your edge there's no reason to rush into a trade let's take a quick look at the VIX the VIX bounced up strongly here yesterday, bouncing right off of this level of support. And I talked about that the other day, uh, how we could see that level of support uh, give us a little bit of a bounce. What's going to be important over the next couple of days is to see that drift back off. We want to see a lower high here in the VIX that would push that fear back down. If fear continues to grow in the market and we were to spike out above these highs, there could be a major problem um, in the market. So hopefully that's not the case. Look for that. What we want to watch for is the, the lower high. That's what I'm hoping for, a lower high in here and a pullback that comes back down here to these support levels. Let's take a look at T21. 22. T21, 22, the four week new high and new low ratio. Um, just a second here. I apologize. I'm working from this little laptop and I'm uh, kind of handicapped here. So T2122, as you can see, we were right here in this bearish, uh, excuse me, bullish reversal zone on T2122. And we rallied up absolutely, I mean, just like a rocket ship to the upside. Remember, the Dow um, rallied over 2,000 points in just nine days. So it really shouldn't have been a surprise to see some selling. And I have been talking about this bearish reversal zone and the possibility of a pullback. Now, what's interesting here is all in all, almost in one shot, we went from the bearish reversal zone down here where we could be reaching the bullish reversal zone. When we get big moves like that, that whippy emotion can create that. So we have plenty of opportunity now for upside. We still have a, some room for the downside as well. So anything is possible here, but I really think there's an opportunity that we could pop back up in this morning with the bulls um, showing the strength that they are showing. I think that possibility certainly does exist. So with that, hey, everyone remember um, on the um, earnings calendar today, we have uh, about 200 companies reporting earnings today, so kind of keep that in mind. And there are a couple of reports that you want to keep an eye on on that economic calendar today. Um, but I think that the majority of, of folks are going to be focused on that big sell-off yesterday and whether or not um, we're going to catch some support in here. So watch uh, watch closely and be careful. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And please take the time, if you, if you have the ability to do so, if you think the video is worth it, please take the time to uh, drop that comment and to um, click those thumbs up buttons. And again, if you've never um, seen these videos before, Please keep in mind, I'm, my intention is to never make money from these videos. It's really to provide good quality information to other traders. So thank you for your support. And everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I'll talk to you bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.